Hello guys and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. Today, I will enter in a new episode called Committed. I'm going to pick Kofi Kingston and SGT Slaughter against Seth Rollins. WWE Raw after WrestleMania delivered an entertaining show with its signature hot post WrestleMania crowd. This show, which saw the debuts and returns of Lars Sullivan, Sami Zayn and The Undertaker, was headlined by a winner-take-all main event between new WWE and Universal Champions Kofi Kingston and Seth Rollins, respectively. Unfortunately, the bar crashed the main event and the ensuing bait and a switch left the Barclay Center furious as they defaulted back into bonded beach ball mode. WWE Raw saw a slight increase last week and the always anticipated hash row after mania should stand to benefit from one of the highest, if not the highest, viewership totals of 2019. Watching Seth Rollins kick off this show, knowing he had the third most meaningful world title win at WrestleMania, makes Ross seem like the B-show. As a staunch supporter of Kofi Kingston and aficionado of W.S. treatment of African-American superstars, a Kofi Kingston and Seth Rollins matchup makes me nervous. The case can be made that The Revival are the worst Raw Tag Team champions in WWE history and never forget, these belts were once held by the B team. WWE should just let Kurt Hawkins go on a 269 match winning streak and see what happens. I really hope Kurt Angle's line about luck which has to have appeared in a straight-to-DVD action movie, was his final words spoken on WWE TV. Lars Sullivan has such a unique, monstrous look it almost devalues him when the announcers point out that this monster heel is only 6'3". Raw opened with a very hyped segment between new Universal Champion Seth Rollins and new WWE Champion Kofi Kingston. At the end of the first 10 minutes of Raw, both Kingston and Rollins agreed to put their titles on the line in a winner-take-all scenario later in the night. In the main event of the Raw after WrestleMania 35, both Rollins and Kingston showed up tired but the champions were still able to tease something bigger happening on Monday night. Following the bar's interference, all four men were put in a rough spot and the Raw live crowd ate them alive. An impromptu tag match was started and the crowd reacted with boos, chants of CM Punk, beach balls being tossed, and chants for Eve to top it all off. Eventually Rollins and Kingston would get the win, and Barclays Center eased up a bit with their displeasure. Hope you enjoy this match guys and see you again in the next video. Oh, we know what's coming! Military press drop! Almost! Hey, here's the setup! Lutez press! Anything like this?